Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple you thinking that maybe you're not different Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're doing an all day clean with me so I got lots of stuff done today and I filmed it all for you guys. If you're new here my name is Jillian and I make lots of cleaning motivation on this channel as well as other homemaking content so if you like that kind of content please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you. Hold up hold up baby I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I love this sink scrub that I make. It's just baking soda and essential oils. So I think in here right now I have like peppermint and a bunch of citrus oils and it seriously makes my kitchen smell so good and shines up my sink really well. I commissioned Matt's help to pull out the fridge and then I got behind there and gave it a really good clean. It was disgusting, you guys. Like, look at that. Does anybody else hand wash their floors? I feel like I'm the only person that does this, but I think it does such a better job. I couldn't even imagine going in here with a mop and trying to actually get everything clean.
If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram and you have Instagram, you should definitely go and follow me. I post lots of my stories there and I post lots of like what I'm eating and different things that I'm making. So go and check out my Instagram for sure. It's just at Jillian Clement underscore. My cat is always on the hunt for a comfy spot to sleep. So you can see here that she was trying to crawl and make a bed in the winter jackets that I was trying to put away. You say that you don't wanna get close to me, close to what we used to be, yeah. But I just feel like dancing. Are you feeling the groove? If you guys also live in a cold climate, you know that winter gear takes up so much space in your place. So we don't have a garage or anything. So we have to store everything in our actual place. So I have like bins full of winter gear. And then you can see, I also stuff them into my ottoman to put it all away once winter's over. are the products that I use on my toilet and then you'll also see when I do this pan of the clean bathroom my toilet brush is like sitting in between the two seats so that's my biggest tip for toilets is sit it between the seats and spray it with hydrogen peroxide somebody thought my leggings were see-through in one of my videos but it's actually just like the light reflecting on my leggings my leggings are not see-through my diffuser here so on this day I was using purification lemon and thieves from young living so 
So I wanted to explain to you guys how I divide up my laundry because I definitely do it different than most people. So um, my first pile is towels. So towels and like random sheets and pillowcases. Um, and then I divide my, our clothes into two piles, not based on color, but based on texture. So basically like things that are lighter in texture, like t-shirts or undershirts, um, underwear, socks, that goes in one pile because those are generally like the items that are the dirtiest. And then I have a second pile for um, heavier textured items. So like sweatshirts, pajamas, stuff like that. So the reason why I split it up is because your laundry soap will latch on to the heavier items if you mix them in with the um, lighter textured items. So by dividing it, I can wash my clothes in cold with like a more gentle laundry detergent and everything still comes out clean. And then I also have a pile of whites. So this is like towels or whatever, just total white stuff. And then in my laundry room, I just keep sort of out of breath because I'm cleaning. Whew. I keep two little baskets just on top of my dryer. So this one gets um, bathroom cleaning cloths and then this one has kitchen cleaning cloths. And then that way, yeah, I have like separate cloths that I use for the bathroom and separate cloths for the kitchen. So I'm never cross contaminating those germs and they just sit in these baskets until they're kind of full. And then I'll just throw them individually into the wash. So yeah, that's how I divide up my laundry.
Okay, it is the next morning here and I'm just folding all of that laundry that I did yesterday. And that's all I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And you can see new videos from me every single week. Thanks again for watching.